are you doing here? With your shirt off. Relax. I don't want to hear for any other reason except to fix your water heater, okay? My water heater was fine when I left. What's wrong? I got an emergency call from Henry. Henry! Yeah, listen to the trick. Here you go, man. Keep it as long as you... Okay, thanks. I'll see you soon. I appreciate it. Thanks oh, a lot. What have you done? What? There was really something wrong with a hot water heater. I mean, at least there is now. And, uh, you know, you know how delicate these things are. Tell her, Mike. You know, when things don't heat up the way they used to, you, you got to give them a nudge. You, you got to kick it into gear. And first it simmers, and then it starts to boil. And why am I telling you kids this? You know what to do, so I'm just going to give you your space, all what right? What did you do to the hot water heater? Nothing! That can't be fixed by Mike. It's like I always used to say, you know, if if Mike can't fix it, it ain't broke. So work your magic, Mike, all I right? I can't believe you. All right, fine. It was a cheap trick, I admit it. But I had to do something extreme to get you two face to face. And now that you are, why don't you try to warm things up a little bit around here, okay? I'm really, really sorry about that. It's not your fault. I'll have a talk with him. Good. Oh, wait, but you don't have to leave. I mean, if the water heater really is broken... I'll see what I can do, then, I, then I'll get out of your way, okay? Your shirt was drenched. I threw it in the dryer. Thank you. So, how's the hot water heater? Something running. I think when Henry breaks something, he really goes for it, though. I'm sorry he got you here under false pretenses, but thanks for fixing his mess. No, I'll just grab my shirt and be on my way. Get out of yours, okay? No, no, you're not in my way. And actually, in fact, um, you can't leave until I apologize. For what? Oh, the way I reacted when I first walked in and saw you here your shirt off. Don't worry about it. Can we at least just sit down and have a conversation? Do you want to talk about something specific? Yeah. Um, actually, I ran into Bob Hughes earlier at Memorial, and he mentioned that he offered you another job at Memorial? Yeah, he did. So are you going to take it, or are you still planning on leaving? Who wants to know, Bob or you? I guess Bob thought I could change your mind about turning down his job offer. But he probably hadn't heard about us, you know, that things were different. Guess not. Well, can you really afford to turn down a great job like this? Why do you care? Huh? Well, like you said, things are different between us now. You made it very clear that you want me out of your life, so... No, I said a lot of things. But I just had my heart ripped out. Simon left me again, and I was confused and shocked and mad as hell. And I feel like you took away my decision about my life, about my marriage. I guess I should be happy that you're leaving, right? Happy that you're finally leaving me alone. But... But what? But you're leaving me alone. We used to be able to say anything to each other. We used to do anything for each other, and now... Now it's time to move on. But who are we? We can't even be friends. You are a woman who chased her husband halfway across the world. If you had the chance, you'd do it again, right? And I'm the guy who loves you. All right, that's why it's time for me to leave. dry? It's getting there. Look, I don't know when I'm going to be leaving town, and uh, chances are I won't see you again, so I... No, wait, Mike, please. If I'm the reason that you're walking away from this opportunity to redo the ER at uh, Memorial... It's I... just, I, I think it's better for both of us if I don't stick around. You know? If I do, I just, I keep hoping, and that's, it's, it's, it's pointless. It, Sick and tired of wasting my time. Yeah, but Mike, you can't stop, just... Stop, 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 stop. Well, 
This thing's been a roller coaster ride ever since we met. Right? We're best friends one day, we're lovers the next. And, and now all of a sudden I'm being treated like your worst enemy. You want me gone, I'm gone. I, we said our goodbyes, I don't think anything. Oh my God. Snickers? Oh, stupid. You're not supposed to go near this stuff, are you okay? No, Mike, you don't have to no, do that. Right. Uncle Mike is leaving us. He's going far, far away, and he's never coming back. So if you have anything to say to him, you better say it now. What's wrong? Oh, no, you cut yourself. No, that's fine. No, 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 stay here. I'll get supplies. Uh, stuff like this happens work all the time. It's fine. Yeah, well, there could be a piece of glass embedded. It could get infected and have to be amputated. Uh, just let me... Okay, don't worry about it. Mike, please, just let me take care of you. One last time. Okay, this won't hurt a bit. I said that wasn't gonna hurt. Didn't hurt me. <laughs> you know, this actually kind of reminds me of that first day we hung out, remember? How could I forget? Cut off the tip of my finger and... I asked you to find it. You passed out. <laughs> we have some nurses aid, huh? Well, it was my first day. I mean, I was totally freaking out. I couldn't believe how calm you were. And I couldn't believe how beautiful you were. I don't blame you for wanting to leave, for just wanting to forget about me and get on with your life. Forget? Angel, wherever I go, whoever I end up meeting, I will never forget how much I love you. How much I miss you in my life. Mike, I... No, yeah, don't. Um, I didn't say that because I wanted to hear your side of the story. I just... That's the way I feel, and I thought you should know that. Mike! I'm still here. Okay. Uh, just pretend you never saw me. I'll be out of here in just a second, and you kids can get back to uh, whatever it is that you were doing, all right? No, that's all right, Henry. I, I'm, I gotta get out of here. What? Well, don't, don't rush off on my account, man. Hey, uh, I'll tell you what, man. Next time something breaks around here, call a plumber, okay? He's, uh, he's not leaving, leaving, right? He's going to be back, right? Oh, it's no use. Does this mean you, you don't hate him anymore? No, I do. I hate Simon for leaving. I hate Mike for being so Mike. And I hate you. What did I do? You brought him here. You made me remember what it was like to be with him when things were good with us. When I could just look into his eyes and know exactly what he's thinking. And hours together felt like minutes, and those minutes weren't enough, but it's never going to be right between us again. I just miss my stupid husband, and I miss my stupid best friend, and if I can't be with either of them, then fine. Forget it. Who needs them, right? You can just walk out of my life. Like I was never even there, like we never existed. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't want to make you cry. I just, I don't know, I thought by luring Mike here, I could, I don't know, it's just a stupid idea, all right? I just, I just wanted to do the right thing. I know, but there is no right thing. Nothing is ever, ever going to make it right. You must. What did you get at the grocery store? Ice cream. Lots and lots of ice cream. Good. Go get us two spoons. Oh, it's gonna be a long, long night. 